Hey, YouTube, Maddie's Day 12, Team JMT here at the St. Louis Regional Steel, and I am with Alan Hatton. Alan Hatton. That's right. And you play in Evansville, which actually isn't that far from Owensboro, from where I'm from. Um, so you must have lost a bet with somebody and decided that you're going to run. What did you What did you run today? Uh, Cromali. Cromali. And you're sure you didn't lose a bet? Sure I didn't. All right, you weren't made to do this? Nobody uh -huh. boosted your arm or nothing? No, I just like them. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into the profile, man. All right. Well, for, hold on. You want to say anything about it? You want to shout out anybody, anything? Uh, no. Just, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised at the deck? All right. Let's get into it. All right. First things first is the Crownley Golden Jet. Ah, the Golden Jet. Uh, he's basically the key to the deck. He's uh, level controlled. Um, increases levels. It can make your exceeding go from anywhere from fours all the way up to eights without even any real trouble. After him right. is your uh, Maui. Um, he's basically with him you can just if you have any chronomy monster you can automatically special summon him to your field base up defense. So base up defense? Yeah. Okay. You can just be him effect special him going to a five first turn. No problem. Okay. Um, this guy basically Rota for the deck. If you have any face-up Chronomaly, send him to the grave, add any Chronomaly from your deck to your hand, no limitation. So kind of more, it's more Brimrow than Rota. Sure. Okay. Uh, this Crystal Bones is kind of like Cyber Dragon, except for a little better for this deck. Because if your opponent has a monster, you can special it. Then you can special summon any Chronomaly from your deck or from your hand or your graveyard. So you can, if your opponent has a monster, you can special it. Yeah. And then he grabs a monster and, from the like graveyard. You could just, they have, say they destroyed your exceed. You special, grab Jet back out, special a Mayo back into five. Okay. So he just refills your five or four, whatever you want. Morphine Jar. Um, he, this deck will beat your hand, so he's a good refill. And now I've got to, I've got to kind of argue with this, with you, man. I just, I, how many Dark Worlds did you see today? None. None. They were everywhere. How did you not see any? It seems like this would kill you at Dark World. He actually has another purpose because he's rock. He's a rock. Oh, yeah, I'll get to that. Okay, here. we'll get to that in a second. Yes. Okay, and then obviously tour guides. Tour guide. It goes in everything. Sang. Yes. But with this deck, you don't always want to search Sangin with your tour guide. Sometimes you just want to go into these because you can set Sangin and then go straight to your bones and then back to bones and then special special. Bones, which gives you the, f right. the five again. So he'll search out anything. Yeah. Seems dumb, but okay. Yeah. Uh, two Valor. Two Valor. This does, yeah. Rather it's, than anything. It's know. Valor and it's Yu-Gi-Oh. Right, Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Gores, people tried to tell me to go Trigodia, but he's actually won me a lot of games today. Against... Well, now you were saying that you eat through your hand quite a bit, so yeah. where is Trag going to help you? I mean, I, I yeah, I, I kind of feel like Gores. That's what they tell me. I, I don't agree. You don't agree. All right. Don't agree. And which is why you went with Gores. Right. Uh, BLS. Obviously. Really? BLS. How many BLS. darks did you have? Uh, there's four darks in the deck. Four and darks. There's a few in the extra deck. But then, of course, all these guys are lights. Yes. Huh. But since the deck beats so fast, it's not that big of a deal. But he's sure. not as important. The real hitter that you wouldn't, people don't expect is a uh, guy who played the uh, Earth Giant. Guy um, played the Earth Giant. Banished two rocks to special him. Anything that battles him, him attack or it attack them, half their attack. Half their attack? Yeah. And all you gotta do is banish a rock every standby phase. He stays in the field. As his maintenance So cost. late game, he's boning. You've got eight rocks. That's why Morphin Jar. God. Feed him. Yeah, Morphin Jar feeds him. Right. He's, he's stupid strong, man. He's since he's 28 and a half. Yeah. Good luck. All right, now the spells. Uh, obviously. Yeah. Because you hate the world. Kennedy. I understand. Yay. Uh, playing two MSC. The one you see. Um, duality. Now you didn't like duality. I'm certainly not like duality. I'm, they're probably gonna go out for Maxis. Maxis. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. The ten comes out in a week or so. And just like with Crystal Bones, it's probably gonna go out for um, part of that. Four more. Okay, so you're gonna run two bones. Yeah, I'll probably go to two bones and, and try part of Avarice. Okay. Uh, obviously, warnings just for. Yeah. Why not? Starlight Road. So when you start exceeding three plus times a turn, and you've got you from trench and whatever. Mirror Force. Sure. Double Mirror Force, just in case things go wrong. Yeah. Uh, 
trenches. See, now, um, your next six, it seems like everybody is running these next six. To be honest, trench, I have first game just in case it's certain. This, I side out for Compulse almost constantly. Yeah. So I'm still kind Compulse of thinking is, about leaving Compulse in and taking these out. Yeah, Compulse is just retarded this format. Yeah, I love it. What do you value about it? And then two bottomless. Two bottomless. Again, like, it seems like everybody is playing these right now. Is, is, uh, did he play? Yeah. Especially against Lucky. Against uh, Dark Worlds, Agents. He's just good against everything. Deep Prison. He gets rid of T-King, which is a problem. Yeah. T-King's your problem. All right, now let me see this extra deck. Extra deck, obviously. Uh, your threes. You're going to want Zen Mains just because his sustain is really strong, especially in this deck. Levier is um, if you get... Uh, tour guide late game and you're already using your guy play, you can just go straight back into, get your, <laughs> into all your get stupid Maui plays. And special Maui and get another five. Oh, that's Great. stupid. Um, Giga it brilliant. It's it's okay. I've only used it once. Attack booster. The main print thing for it is it's a number. Yeah. In case that situation comes up here in the middle, like I said, Chrononaut is awesome. Really? If you have, say your hand, you think it's bad because you have two skulls and a tour guide. Okay. Summon tour guide, special tour guide, going to Chrononaut. He's a Chromali. And he can ditch both crystal skulls, add two Maui's, special them, or really five. <laughs> that's dumb. So oh, that's so dumb. Way better than you think. Catastrophe, I mean... You make five. Yeah. Five. Black Rose, just this. If it happens, just special bones, special skull, Baylor, new... Yeah. Worst case scenario. Starlight Road, obviously. Roach, for those heretics or judgment dragons you might find. Yeah. Happy, in case they try to go defensive. Happy's good, too. Yes. <laughs> this one's just a number. He's he, just a number. His effect's not that great. If your attack's higher than its original attack, you take damage equal to it and he gains it. But no one's boosting attacks right now. Yeah. So, he's, yeah. She's the best. She's the best? She's the best. That's what I've heard. She's good. Yeah. She's just, uh, don't die, you attack, kill her card, kill another one. You can do it twice. And I'm going to get ready to that. Adris is in here now, but he's about to become another Tyrus. Really? Yeah. This. You just like She's Tyrus stronger. much more? Yeah, yeah stronger. She stands a lot stronger, especially with all the destruction out there right now. Okay. Tomeo's very good, especially if you're going to go into a six. Just bring him out, nuke their bottom, and then go into your... Yeah. I tell him, um, basically when you bring him out, you can add a number put to him, and then you can de send it, detach one, and half your opponent's life points. Half your opponent's life half points. The only reason I would ever use him is if it's a, if they call time, I can just go half. It almost always puts you in the lead. Almost always puts you in the lead, and then you're, God, that's stupid. But the best part of the deck is obviously Strike Bouncer. Yeah. That's good. Because he's six and he's busted. One addition I've got today, I'm going to be adding Big Eye. Also. Big Eye? To the deck. All right. Now, how well did you do today? I did okay. You did okay? Yeah. I mean, it's it's, a, let's, it's, it's still, an underdog it's deck. Still, I mean, yeah, it's still early. Like, Honey Duality slowed down back. Yeah. yeah. It's, it gives you so much special. You know, first thing you make special for monsters, if you caught, then you're, you're stuck. Yeah. And there's no sustain normally from the deck. Yeah. All right, man. Well, I mean, I, I appreciate it. I mean, it's ballsy to come out here with something that's, I mean, uh, this this it, underrated. It, I mean, it, it took down Dino Rabbit. It took down uh, Chaos Dragon, Insectors. Really? Yeah. All I really see. All right. Um, all right, man. I appreciate it. No problem. Like always, guys, subscribe, comment down below, show as much love as.